With avian chlamydiosis, some birds may be asymptomatic while other birds only develop clinical signs when stressed. Examples of stressful events include crowding, relocation, or reproductive activities. When birds do become sick, the clinical signs associated with avian chlamydiosis can be similar to those of avian influenza. With mild infections, birds may become anorexic, lethargic, or display ruffled feathers. In severely infected birds, clinical signs may include ocular and nasal discharge, sneezing, inflammation of the inside of the eyelid, which is called conjunctivitis, green-yellow diarrhea, and potentially death. The pictures shown here help to illustrate some of the clinical signs of disease. The top four pictures, outlined in red, are of birds suffering from highly pathogenic avian influenza. The two pictures at the very top show depressed birds. The bottom left picture shows hemorrhage of the wattles. And finally, the bottom right picture is of a bird having difficulty breathing. The bottom two pictures, outlined in blue, are of birds suffering from avian chlamydiosis. The left picture is of a bird with conjunctivitis, which is inflammation of the inside of the eyelid. And the right picture is of the green-yellow diarrhea that may be seen with infection. When humans are infected with avian influenza, or chlamydia cytosine, they can suffer from flu-like symptoms. Common symptoms of both diseases are fever, cough, chills, headache, generalized fatigue, and muscle fatigue. If severe enough, respiratory signs can progress to pneumonia. Because symptoms of these two diseases can be confused with symptoms of the human flu, it can make it difficult for physicians to make an accurate diagnosis. If you become sick after handling animals or animal excrement, it is important to discuss this with your physician.